We're in Active Directory Users and Computers in Windows Server 2016, and let's take a look at how we can create a security group. We see several security groups already created, and if we double-click on them, we can see that they have uh, no members in some of them, and there will be members in others. They can also be members of other groups. You can have groups inside of groups as well. Let's go ahead and right-click and choose to create a new group. So groups are used to give access to resources, such as a shared folder, where you can put a whole bunch of users into a group and then only add the group rather than the individual users to the shared folder. This can be a big time saver. Let's go ahead and give the name of the group. We'll call it HR Group. Now, underneath the group name, we have this group scope and the group type. Let's take a look at the scope first. So we see domain local, global, and universal. Domain local means that this, gro this group, will, if we create it with domain local selected, will only contain users in this one single domain. So if we have users from other domains, we won't be able to add them here. But if we only have one domain, then it doesn't really matter. If we choose global, it will allow us to choose all the domains in a single forest. So if you have multiple domains, such as child domains or other domains from a merged corporation, then you may want to choose this global group because we can select from multiple different domains. Universal is uh, different because it allows you to select uh, users and other groups from multiple forests where you've created a trust between those forests. So if you have uh, two completely separate companies that want to start sharing data back and forth with each other, then you can create a universal group and uh, you can then add users on both sides to access shared resources. The default, however, is global, so we'll leave that. Now we have two different types of group types. And we've got security, which is the default, and that's used once again for gaining access uh, to shared folders, etc. However, distribution, is used when you have an email server. So if you have an email server that's uh, on-premises then or part of Active Directory, then you can go ahead and select distribution and create users that way. And uh, you could also do this directly in Microsoft Exchange or another Active Directory linked type of email program. So by default, we create a global security group. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And we see our HR group. Now we can go ahead and double click on the group and we can add members. Let's go ahead and click add and we'll type in user 012 for instance, check name, click OK, and there's our user. We could also go into a user itself and go ahead and go to member of. We can click add and type in HR group, which is the group that we just created. Click check name, click OK. And so we've added the group that way. So you can either go into the group or go into the user and add the group, whatever way works best for you. If you've changed your mind on the type of group that you want, you can go back to the group, double click on it, and you can change it from global to universal. However, once you've created it as global, you can't go backwards to domain local. You can also change from security to distribution. However, if you've added this group into some uh, folders uh, security settings, then you won't be able to do that because it's uh, changing to distribution will actually negate that. So if we go now to a folder on the C drive, let's go ahead and create a new folder and we'll call it HR. We'll right click on that folder, go to properties, and we'll go to security, edit, add, check name, and now any user that's in the HR group will have access under the security tab for uh, having access to any data that's inside it. You'll also have to set up sharing as well, and from here we can either add the group itself by clicking add and then giving permissions or just go ahead and choose everyone and then everyone will include anybody in the HR group. Go ahead and click OK. OK. And now the HR group has folder has folder access to the HR folder itself. So that's how you create a group, a security group in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory.